Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are doing a half case from a fresh case, 2017 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball. Six box break. Pick your team number nine, plus a chance to win $50 of break credit. Here are the folks that chose their own adventure on the 30th right here. Thank you very much. There's everyone. Good luck. Ziggy with that last bot mojo and the Oakland A's. Big thanks to everybody who bought into this break. There it is, Diamond Kings. All right, so there's two, four, six right here, and two, four, six right here. So one, two, three for the left side. So you can kind of see all the boxes right here. Two, four, and six, two, four, and six. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. Two. So we'll be doing the left side. And the right side will be reserved for break number 10. So I'll, so I'll mark these 10. Oh, there's TJ. What's up, TJ? I thought, we, I thought we had lost you. Also, Walker Bueller is dealing for your drillers, man. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, who's in this? Who's here with me here? I know TJ's here. He's got the White Sox. I don't know who else is here. I know David Kiss is around here somewhere. Boonies, I know, is here. Um, maybe Andy Garner's hanging around. I know Curtis is here. Curtis is there. So there you go. All right. Good luck, everybody. So we've got eight cards per pack, 12 packs per box. We're looking for two autographs or memorabilia cards per box. On average. on a Oh, the X-Line's here. Oh, good. We've got a lot of people here. Oh, Jackie's here. So Andy's here. Big Boys 07. Brett, the X-Line. David Kiss. Okay. Beautiful. We've got a great got a great crew here. Gabriel's here. Good. Excellent. All right. Good. Thanks for hanging out, folks. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. Thank you so much for filling this one up. $50 of break credit to give away at the very end of this break. And for those of you who purchased spots before the deadline, and there's still time, 15 minutes left, you, have, you also have a chance at getting another $25 of break credit in the All Spots Sold promo. So you can win up to 75 bucks just for buying a Diamond King spot. It's pretty nice, right? Let's see here. Does everything ship? No. Vet base. No veteran base cards will ship. Yeah, generally in these breaks where there's a lot of base cards, a lot of commons, yeah, the vet base will not ship. So we're looking for two hits per box, uh, plus different serial numbered cards up in this as well. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. There he is, Joe DiMaggio. If you were wondering where he had gone, he's right there. And we're gonna start off with three color dual relic out of 25, Trey Turner. Nice. That goes to Mike Coster for the Nationals. They list him as a shortstop here. I think he's been playing center field mostly this season. All right, there you go, Mike. That's our first of two hits of this box. Is this the next one? No, it must just be a variation. I'll set that aside so that I'll ship out to you. There's these different frames. I think the gray frames are the most common, if I remember correctly. I mean, those those will ship, but they are not serial numbered. Randall Grichuk, nice. 82 out of 99. 
Jersey, an autograph for the Redbirds. Nice one for the Cardinals heading out to the X line. Clemente variation. So like inserts like this will ship out, but you know, this is considered vet base right here. That's not gonna ship out. But that is a rookie card, so that will ship out. So there you go, there's the red frame, 73 out of 99, Mitch Hanniger. Jose Altuve, gray frame. Joe DiMaggio, possible variation. I'll set those aside to be top loaded and sent out just in case. So we got our two hits out of the box. Now we're just looking for numbered cards. Jody Martinez. Andrew Benintendi. Nice. That will ship out. I like this set. Um, or I, actually, I, I kind of do like the the Kings set. You know what I mean? I like the sort of uh, sort of matte finish that you have right there. I like the watercolor look. So whether it's Court Kings, Gridiron Kings, Diamond Kings, I'm a fan of the Kings products. My only thing is, I mean, we can always nitpick every product, right? But my only thing is I, I wish that, uh, I think the football last year, the football was weird because they had so many different frames, but they weren't serial numbered. I mean, there were very short prints, but that was kind of a little frustrating. I like it when, when uh, it's all like numbered, you know what I mean? But, um... Otherwise, I like the design. It's pretty inexpensive, too, you know? So, like, as far as baseball products go, you know, you can have fun. This is fun for the kids, you know what I mean? You can open up a box. You can buy a box relatively inexpensively. You know, how much do these cost? What, 60, 70 bucks a box? Which is not too bad for a product these days, in this day and age. And you have potential to get, to chase really nice hits. And you have, like, these nice artsy-looking cards right here. This nice watercolor sort of look, um, which I like. So good price point, potential for big hits, nice design. You know, I think from year to year, they tighten up, you know, again, we can nitpick anything, right? So, I mean, if they tighten up some of the product, maybe make some of the, you know, make the hits a little bit stronger and whatnot, little things here and there. It could be a great uh, mid-range product with potential for high-end hits. So it's a nice balance of everything. All right. Yeah, send it to me, Arthur. All right, next box. Good luck. Of course, I just like baseball in general. Ted Williams. Insert. Dansby Swanson. And there's Madison Bumgarner, the dirt bike rider. George Kelly, gray frame. Jose Altuve. Yoan Mankata, rest in peace. Jim Bunning just passed away over the weekend. Over the weekend, I believe, right? Yeah, kind of like Inception Light, right, Gabriel? At least the, the artwork, anyway. I've heard of this guy, Babe Ruth. Leo DeRocher, old Dodger. Josh Donaldson. Anthony Rizzo. And Jorge Posada for the Yankees. Nice. Piece of the bat. Piece of Jorge Posada's jersey. Not numbered, but that'll go to the Bronx. That goes to Jackie. Should be one more hit in here. Joe Panic. Wow, one of one Joe Panic. Looks like a laundry tag with a Q code right there and part of some sort of a patch right there commemorating something that the Giants have done lately. Oppo Joe Mo opposite Joe Mojo and Joe Mojo going to Adam Wilson who has my enemy. The San Francisco Giants, Joe Panic. Adam Wilson. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! I don't know what that's commemorating. It's something silly, probably. All right. 
Stan the Man, Musil, out of 99. Jackie Robinson, Anthony Rizzo. I don't know why all these inserts are turned around, but there they are. And that was your box. Awesome. Thanks, Arthur. I'll check it out later tonight. All right. Slide that over. And the next box. Yeah, did, did Joe Panic get involved in that fight? There was all this controversy, I feel like, over the fight between uh, Hunter Strickland of the Giants and Bryce Harper that happened over the weekend. Um, so the backstory, in case you guys don't know, most of you should know, or everyone's been explaining it. Hunter Strickland got tagged for two home runs uh, in the same game, I think, or no, in two different games during like a divisional series or something random like that. Uh, like back in 2014, the Giants had gone on to win the World Series that year. And... Um, the Giants had gone on to win the World Series that year, and apparently Strickland has had this grudge against Bryce Harper ever since. Yeah, Bryce Harper maybe was being a little yappy or something like that. That's fine. That's what Bryce does. But, like, bro, you won the World Series. Like, come on. That trumps everything, right? Doesn't it? No? Apparently not to Strickland because <laughs> three years later or two and a half years later, he comes back, drills Harper in the thigh, and Buster Posey doesn't make a move. Now... And 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 uh, Harper runs after Strickland, and both of them land blows. Um, people were saying, like, yeah, Posey, why didn't why didn't he do anything? Why didn't he step in front? Apparently, the buzz is, at least from what I heard, the buzz is that Strickland wanted to fight Harper, so he's just like, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug him, and if if he comes running, don't stop him. Was apparently the directive. Another story. Nice, nice to be Swanson right here. Dual relic and autograph. 51 out of 299. Braves. That is for Ed Aarons. There you go, Ed. See, Ed on the board. So, but yeah, but there's injury history as well with, with, with Posey. There's Andrew Benintendi, 77 out of 99. So they were saying that, that management has specifically said, hey, if there's a fight, don't go out there. That's another theory. The other theory, because I don't think I don't think Buster Posey's a B-word. You know what I mean? I don't think it was one of those things where he just didn't want to fight. You know, and this is me hating the Do the Giants. See, I'm a huge Dodgers fan. But I think it was also that. He's like one of the most important players on the Giants. He can't just run around and get injured, right? The other thing was, I think it was only like a 2 nothing game. So the game was still very much in hand, very close. And I think I think Strickland in the clubhouse said, I'm going to plunk this mf -er, right? And Posey and everybody is like, please don't plunk him. This is like 2 nothing game. Don't do it. Strickland's like, I'm going to plunk him. You know? <laughs> and I think he did. And you can see Buster Posey kind of throw his arms down, like in kind of frustration. He's like, that MF or plunked him. It's like, fine, go and fight. You know? Like, I think that's kind of what Posey was doing too. That's kind of the vibe I got anyway. There's Cole Hamill's dual relic. I mean, obviously, and that's for the Rangers. Andy Garner with that one. You don't really know, like, what the intention was or what the, what the, I mean, no one's ever really going to say. But I don't think it was Posey not backing up a teammate. You know, there must have been something else there. In my opinion, anyway. I mean, that's what it looked like to me. Well, yeah, but, yeah, and, and in the end, Strickland looks like, comes off looking the worst. Because it was just like, well, all you could do was be the guy. There's an artist proof, Mitch Hanniger for the Diamondbacks, 21 out of 25. Arthur, that's for you. You know what I mean? But it's just like, you know, I don't know. I think I, then, the, then the bigger question becomes, can baseball police itself? Can it continue to police itself? It's dangerous, blah, blah, blah. But listen, I, I just think that, and I hate to say it like this, but... I think I think it may, and I love baseball. I, I I don't find it boring at all. I can watch it all the time. But I think for a certain you know demographic, a, a younger generation, basically, I think kids like to see that. That's all people are talking about. 
You know what I mean? You know, even sports shows that don't cover baseball very much in depth are talking about that fight because you have a very loud, outspoken character like Bryce Harper involved in a fist fight where, where blows actually get landed. It wasn't like a hold me back kind of thing. You know, it was literally like they landed punches, you know, not like big punches, but still they got to protect their hands, you know, but they're landing some punches. Bench is cleared. Oh, uh, Vakshana, you were, you were saying that someone, Morris got a concussion as well? Yeah, and he's just saying, Vakshana is like, hey, I'm all for more brawls in baseball, though, unless it's my team that's in it. Yeah, well, I remember, and Gabriel, you probably remember this, right? Remember uh, two, two, three years ago or something like that? Like, Zach Granke was pitching against, was it the Diamondbacks or Padres or something, like, early in the season. It was like one of his first couple starts of the year. And there was like there was a there was some sort of thing that happened. And there was a brawl. Then like, Granky busted his shoulder, and he was out for like a few weeks. And it was could have been worse, but still. Oh, it was D backs, right? Yeah. All right. Start off with Chris Bryant, Kyle Hendricks, red frame, twenty one out of ninety nine. Uh, for the Cubs, that'll go to Scott Cooper. Ernie Banks, let's play two. Now, the one where he got hurt was which? Which was the one that where he got hurt? Gabriel, where, Zan where Granky got hurt? Nice, Charlie Blackman. Not numbered, but that dual relic will still go to you, James. Mookie Betts, gray frame. And another dual relic and autograph for Ed. 178 out of 29. I guess you're starting your Dansby Swanson PC, Ed. Joey Votto having another nice season. There's Goldie right there. Artist proof for Arthur. 74 out of 99. I don't know why those are flipped around. I'm assuming those are some sort of variation. I'm setting them aside. Is it any different from the one I just pulled right here? Oh, where did he go? No, it's not any different at all. All right. Two more boxes to go. I don't know. I think I think a brawl is okay. I have no objection to a brawl. You know, but it can't be like I don't know. I feel like there was a lot of if you, a lot of brawls in like the 70s, right? But I don't know. Maybe the reasons for that was just as petty as as it, as they are today, right? Oh, you hit a home run off of me. Oh, you 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 ran out of the box a little too slowly. You know, something like that. But I don't know. It's 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 dangerous because there's like guys like trying to throw at people's heads. It's not like they're trying to toss changeups, you know, into you know. It's not like they're trying to throw changeups into like their 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 butt, right? It's like they're they're throwing like fastballs at the head sometimes. And I think I don't know. I don't know if that's I don't know. That's not really safe anymore. You know, especially when you have random pitchers doing it. It's not like it's Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson knows exactly where his pitch is going, whether it's high and inside or not. I don't know. It is part of the game in hockey, that's for sure. But you know, but hockey players are using their are using their like fists. You know what I mean? It's not like someone is throwing a projectile at somebody to init to start that fight. Yeah, well, one day someone is going to... Well, you remember when uh, Juan Marichal took a bat to to uh, Roseboro's head, you know? So, I mean, that's kind of an ugly time, right? So it's sort of, it's sort of, a, it's sort of a difficult balance. You know, when do you want baseball to police itself? When is a little brawl or two kind of okay just to get, just to get you know, clear whatever air or settle whatever issue they may be going on? And then when does it become a player safety issue? Chris Bryant, dual relic, 
not numbered. For the Cubs, that'll go to Scott Cooper. Babe Ruth, gray frame. Kendall Graveman, two color, dual relic, and autograph. 24 out of 199. So there are two hits right there. Oakland A's, Ziggy with the last spot mojo. Braden Shipley. It looks like you're just getting all these artist proofs, Arthur. 14 out of 99. Braden Shipley for Arthur and the Diamondbacks. It's poor Mike Trout. Out about two months. Lloyd Wainer for the Pirates. Red frame Brooks Robinson, 78 out of 99. You know, speaking of Brooks Robinson and the Orioles, Earl Weaver said back in the day, you know, and this is this is old school coach Earl Weaver. He said, you know what? I, I don't want nobody throwing at nobody. <laughs> he said he, he forbade his players to do it. He's like, what do I, do I want any of my players to get suspended? He's like, I need every one of those players to win ball games. So there was that sort of outlook, you know, already in – you know, already back in the day, you know, he was just saying, hey, it just doesn't make sense to me. Why would I retaliate? Why would I want any of my players to retaliate when they have a chance to get injured or a chance to get ejected from a game? I need them to win. Makes sense. All right. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. As soon as we... Uh, Finish off this last box and I clear this break away and all that. I'm going to give someone $50 of break credit from this break. And then we'll do the all spot sold promo. I only see two more orders, two orders coming in. Did they make it before the deadline? I hope so. Ah, they did. Good. So they got two additional orders that made it in before the deadline. So then we'll run the all spot sold promo after this break. And then we'll start to look at what we can do to finish off the night. Now we started strong. We like, we've pretty much been nonstop since we started today. So I appreciate that everybody. And we are, we, and understandably, it does seem like we're slowing down just a tad, but as of this moment right now, we still have a solid hour left in the broadcast. And that's a lot of time to fill up any number of breaks that we have on the website. Absolute football is available right now. And that's kind of a longer break, but that could be a good way to end the night. And if another couple smaller breaks fill up while that absolute break is happening, I'll definitely do those too. Golf, mid-baseball, something like that. So think about it, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Last box. Good luck to everybody. And pick your team number nine. Let's see what we close out with. There's Carl Ferrillo for the Dodgers, 23 out of 49. Uh, there's Jacob deGrom, gray frame. Pee Wee Reese for the Dodgers. Jackie Robinson. We've got a numbered card right here. Six out of 25, Roberto Clemente. Memorable moment. A walk-off inside the park Grand Slam. Tell me about it. The outlook wasn't good for Pittsburgh on July 25th, 1956, as the home team entered the ninth inning, trailing 8-5. to five. That's not good. After their club loaded the bases, however, fans at Forbes Field were filled with hope. Their optimism turned to elation when Clemente pulled a long drive, a long drive into left, tore around the bases and came home with a winning run. There you go, Pittsburgh. That's a story. Heather with the Pirates. Kel Franco, 68 out of 99, artist proof. Bill Dickey. Slide that here so we can top load that. Harry Kluber, isn't she off? Isn't he off the DL pretty soon? Kluber, something like that. JD Martinez is our first hit. Dual relic for the Tigers. That goes to David Kist. And we should be looking for an autograph. It's Pee Wee Reese again. 
And Yoan Mankata. Yoan Mankata, two color, dual relic, 193 out of 242. Still, uh, still Red Sox edition on that one. So that goes to Karen Steele, right? Yeah, it still says Boston right up here. So that goes to you, Karen. And that's it, folks. That was Pick Your Team number nine from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Yep, those are the base oh cards. A little bit more. And I'm going to separate this out and sleeve those up. All right, $50 of break credit going to somebody. I don't know who, but someone is going to get it. All right, good luck. From Arthur all the way down to Mike. It's going to be Scott Cooper. You, Axel says it's going to be Scott Cooper. <laughs> Rolling the dice, randomizing it three and a four, seven times. Curtis says hi, by the way. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Lost track. Five, six. I said seven times, right? Jesus. Seven times. So there's six times right there. Seventh and final time. Number uh, number on top. Name on top. 50 bucks of break credit. No, no Kev California. So there you go, Kevin. Thank you very much. Um, that's it, everybody. I'm done. Pick your team number nine. Diamond Kings Baseball in the books. Appreciate it. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Second half is in the store. Bye.